rain season started this past weekend, and we are already seeing a lot of rain. Yeah, this morning, people in the South Valley are worrying about potential flooding there. KOAT Action 7 News anchor Angela Brower is live this morning to show you why. Good morning, Angela. Hey, good morning to you guys. Every time it rains, people here in the South Valley see standing water along the roadways, along the sides of the road, and the drainage here is so bad it just has nowhere to go that their yards start to fill up, like this one, like this one. And this morning, this water is inching closer and closer to people's front yards. A lot of people telling us they don't feel like they can pull out of their driveways. For years, it is frustrating. South Valley residents have been pleading with Bernalillo County to fix flooding issues. We definitely need somebody down here. They say every time it rains, their streets overflow with water to the point where they feel trapped. Give us what we need. The county says they've been pouring millions of dollars into flood prevention projects. We've got several systems that we've installed this past year. <laughs> They had to plan very carefully for which projects they did first, since one neighborhood's drainage would lead to another, then into bigger drainage ponds. So far, they say they fixed all the areas you see here in blue, plus the area near Golf Road. We discussed the Sunset project that couldn't move forward until the golf project was done. The county's public works manager is confident there won't be as much flooding this year. He says they do have more neighborhoods to fix, but when they get to them all depends on funding. And here's why each small neighborhood project is costing the county a couple million dollars. They're fixing some of that flooding by doing things like installing curbs, like what you're seeing across the street here, also new pipes. They're also repaving and regrading roads so all that rainwater has somewhere to go. Reporting live in the South Valley this morning, I'm Angela Brower, KOAT, Action 7 News. Yeah, I feel for everybody living there. Thank you.